Moore, J.A. Moore. I feel like for him to be in the position that he's in and he's in a position to do so much more and be so much more and help out more, he's just blowing it off. Because here you have people who went through so much in Greenwood, South Carolina. Is that where it was? Greenwood, yeah. South Carolina and... North Carolina and... You were campaigning for Harris, which is fine. Instead of being in your own state trying to help a lot of your own people and give back and be a blessing and trying to help get some of this stuff straightened out. I, I just feel like you don't care. A lot of people crave, especially us as a people, crave to be in the position he's in and work hard to get there. And for you to be there and not care is ridiculous. And that's how I feel. Hey, so um, what do you think should happen if, I mean, if if you were in his shoes, what would you do in this situation with... The- I would have been in South Carolina when that happened. I would have been somewhere trying to set up a donation table, trying to give back instead of campaigning for campaigning while other people in your state in your district are going through tragedy i wouldn't have been in another state i would have been right here proving why i am who i am and what i stand for so you you think uh mr moore has let down the people of district 15 i do um what do you think about literally the uh berkeley county supervisor and the sheriff had a meeting, um, just not last night, but the night before, and Mr. Moore was not there on the updates from the Berkeley County supervisor and sheriff about what's going on and how to protect the community and Mr. Moore's campaigning in North Carolina. I feel like he should have been there. Right. I feel like, how do you know what's going on if you're never attentive in a meeting or showing up for that matter you're not gonna know you wouldn't know because you're not there yeah i i I mean i attended the meeting i'm not the representative but i'm campaigning to be the representative and i wasn't mad i was more disappointed that he was not at the meeting with the county supervisor basically the county supervisor is the person that was elected to run the entire county of berkeley county and the sheriff is also, uh, you know, the highest um, uh, officer in the county. I mean, he's running the sheriff's department, and the police department, to make sure we have public safety during this storm, and that you know all our, all our residents are safe. And for me to be at the meeting as a citizen, I mean, I am running for office. Um, I was more disappointed that Mr. Moore wasn't there and I wouldn't find out until literally last night when one of my critics pointed out to me um, what was going on. And Mr. Moore from Saturday morning, the storm left Charleston Friday afternoon. It had passed and it was still going on in the upstate Mm -hmm. on Friday afternoon. So literally based on Mr. Moore's pup, post on x twitter whatever you want to call it he was literally in north carolina campaigning in greensboro for kamala harris and like you said whether you vote for kamala harris or trump that's not the issue here um the issue is if you're an elected official you should be in the district working for the people it's like having a job and not showing up for it it's like having a job and being absent. Um, how are you going to do your job if you're not there? Hey, so what do you think about Mr. Moore's attendance record with missing 1,658 votes? I think it's... I think the votes show... I think he doesn't realize how many people are looking at his... 
I don't want to say presence because he doesn't show up for anything. When he is there, there's proof that he's on his phone. He's not attentive. So, I mean, people are watching that. And just as much as he probably don't care or don't think about it, it's going to reflect on him in a very negative way because he's showing that he doesn't care. He's not showing up. It's ridiculous. Hey, so I appreciate your um, your input as an African-American because, I mean, that really means a lot to me. Yeah. Well, thanks for your time, Tamika. You're welcome.